Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to get up and running with the Tailwind app. Tailwind is a content management app for Instagram and Pinterest. It's great for pre-scheduling posts, finding popular hashtags, and getting the absolute maximum exposure for each of your uploads to Instagram or Pinterest. I was actually approached by Tailwind and compensated for the creation of this video, something I don't normally do. In fact, I haven't done a sponsored video on this channel in years, but Tailwind is an app that I've used before and find beneficial, so I was more than happy to do a tutorial for them. Now, there are a few different ways you can use Tailwind. So right now, I'm on the Tailwind website, which is tailwindapp.com, and you can use the browser-based version of Tailwind from here, where you can add both your Pinterest and your Instagram accounts, and you can do all of your uploading right here from within a browser. Now, at the same time, there are also two mobile apps that you can use for Tailwind, so if we switch quickly over here to my Android device, You'll notice that I'm in the Google Play Store, which is equivalent to the App Store if you're on iOS on an iPhone, it would be the same. And when I search Tailwind, a few different apps appear. If you're going to be using Tailwind for Instagram, you wanna download the app that says Tailwind Instagram Planner. It's the third app on the list here with the blue background. And if you're going to be using Tailwind for Pinterest, you'll wanna use that first one, uh, the Tailwind Pinterest and Instagram Planner app. So that's one of the reasons I like the browser-based version because you can connect both your Instagram and Pinterest accounts and you can manage them in the same place here in your browser. So let's go ahead and let's get signed in and we'll also take a look at the mobile app as well as we move along in this tutorial. So to get started, you can just sign up with Pinterest or sign up with Instagram. Uh, there is a free trial that you can do, which I recommend. Uh, it kind of gives you most all of the features uh, that come along with Tailwind. Uh, after your free trial is over, you can still use Tailwind, but some of the features will be limited. So you'll kind of be able to choose at that time whether you want to upgrade to the paid version or just keep using the free version. So go ahead and sign up and connect one of your accounts. I already have my account created, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, so here we are in Tailwind, and if this is your first time using Tailwind, you might have a little bit of a tutorial on your screen that kind of walks you through some of the features of Tailwind, and I recommend that you kind of go through that on your own time, uh, so maybe there's something covered in that that you don't find in this video. Okay, so let's start taking a look at the user interface here in Tailwind. So on the left side of our screen, we have a number of different locations that we can go to. You can see this first one right here has a little image of me and it, you can see that's my Pinterest account. So I actually have three accounts currently connected to my Tailwind account. So I have this one Pinterest account, then I have my AnsonAlex.com Instagram channel, and then I have my SoCal Cat Life Instagram channel, which is, yes, it's an Instagram channel for my cats. I'm one of those people, but no, it's an account I use for testing. So we're actually going to be taking a look at that account. If you want to add any additional accounts, you can just click on the Add New Account button. To remove accounts, you can click on Manage Accounts, and you can remove them. And then, you know, once you've clicked on this little area, you can click on any of these to switch over to that account. So if I switch over to my SoCal Cat Life account, you can see that it's now the currently active account. And over here on the right, we can see our grid. So you can see it says your grid. And as we scroll down on our grid, we can see posts that we've already published to Instagram. So all of these posts have already been published. But then up at the top here, we can see that we have some slots to insert new posts. And you'll notice that each of these slots has a day and a time. This is one of the most useful features of Tailwind. Tailwind uses an algorithm to automatically determine what the best time for you to post to your particular account is. So right now I'm in the SoCal Cat Life account, but if we were to move to one of my other accounts, these time slots would be different. And they're based on how much engagement I've gotten on my previous posts and at what time of the day that engagement comes in. So uh, what we can do is we can actually just create a draft post here in Tailwind, and then we can drag it to the slot over here in the grid when we want it to be posted. Now, in order for it to be posted automatically, you need to have a business account with Instagram, which is free. Uh, it just depends on how you, kind of you have your Instagram account set up. If you don't have a business account, what will happen is, is you'll schedule this draft, and then at this time, so let's say we put one in this Sunday slot, uh, on Sunday, January 31st at 10.16 p.m., we'll get a notification saying, hey, it's time to publish your post. And we can just hit the publish button and it will be posted. Uh, that's really a limitation of Instagram and not Tailwind uh, because uh, you do need to have the business account with Instagram to do the automatic posting. Now, at the same time, you'll notice that uh, we can kind of go up here at the top and we could edit the time slots. So if I click on edit time slots, you'll notice that these are all our pre-scheduled time slots right now. So you can see that we've got you know, Sunday, 10, 16 p.m., Saturday, 11, 23. If we wanted to add another time slot to this particular day, we could add it right here, but you know, by clicking on the add time slot button. But again, these time slots were created automatically based on our previous engagement. So I kind of recommend just going with this and, and not messing with it too much. I think one of the only reasons would be is if you're posting multiple posts a day. So you can see right now it's set up to do one post per day. But let's say you want to do two posts per day, well, then you would want to add a time slot to each of those days. 
Okay, so this is how we can modify our posting schedule. Over here on the right, you'll notice that there's a getting started area, which just kind of gives you some information about how the grid works and how the posting schedule works. And so you can kind of read through that if you'd like as well. But let's go back to where we were. So I'm just going to go back to this drafts section. And you'll notice we're back here and we've got our grid. So to get started with posting to Instagram, we can just start by uploading a photo. So I have a photo on my desktop that I'd like to post to Instagram. It's another cat photo. So I'm going to select the photo. I'm going to click open. Okay, so now that the photo has been uploaded, you'll notice that we've got it over here in our draft section. And we're going to uh, click in a second and we're going to add some hashtags and we're going to add a little bit of a caption to this photo and kind of determine all the details. But first I'd like to filter this photo and um, you can filter photos from the next screen when we add those hashtags and stuff. But I find that the feature works better by doing it right from here. So we want to be in the draft section, but we don't want to have a draft opened yet. If I click to open this, let's just do it. You'll notice that uh, this is where we can add all of our caption. We're going to do that in a second. Uh, but for actually just modifying uh, the image and how it looks using Instagram filters, we want to do it from this screen where we can see all of our drafts. If I had more drafts in here, we'd see them on the screen. So from here, I can click on this little magic wand button. And you'll notice that the photo kind of opens up a little bigger. And on the left side, we have all of our editing tools, just like you would have in Instagram. So I'm not going to go through, you know, how to filter all your photos and stuff. I'm just going to apply kind of a general filter here. Uh, but of course, you could definitely spend a lot of time in here getting your photos perfect and all that sort of thing. So let's just find a filter that we like. So I'm just going to click on legacy. And we'll start to kind of test out a few of these. So there's the food filter. You'll notice that the image changes as I as I click. So let's see if we can find one that I like here. You can see we have a lot of options. Oh, that one's too dark. 70s photo. That one's a little dark too. Now we can edit everything, you know, individually like we can do on Instagram. So you'll notice that this is kind of what I do a lot uh, with these photos. So let's try and see if we can change this up a little. Okay, so I kind of fast forwarded there a little bit while I edited this photo. Notice that we can also, you know, do any cropping or transforming if we'd like. So I could make this photo a square, which is kind of your general Instagram photo. And that's usually what I post. So I am going to do that. Uh, so once I've finished all of my edits, I can just click on save image. Okay, so it says it's been saved. So now I can just close out of this editor and you'll notice here's my image. It's been cropped and the filters have been applied. So again, you can spend a lot of time in there, uh, just like you can on the Instagram app. But now let's go ahead and let's add some hashtags and see some of the more magic of Tailwind. So I'm just going to click on this draft and it's going to open it up. And you'll notice that we have this area to enter a caption. But before we do that, I want you to take a look at this box over here to the right where it says recently used hashtags. I find this really helpful, especially for my, my cat account, because I tend to use the same hashtags over and over again. And usually I have to go back into my last Instagram post, see the hashtags I use and say, oh, yeah, I want to use this one. I want to use that one. Then go to my new post and try and remember which ones it is. Or maybe I could, you know, write them down or whatever. But this in here in Tailwind, we have all of our recently used hashtags saved. So we can just start clicking to add these to the post. Now you can also start entering a caption, but if I start entering a caption, it will start reading my caption and it will recommend hashtags based on that. So if you want to use your recently used hashtags, go ahead and add them first. So I could add cats of Instagram just by clicking on it, you know, cats, catstagram. <laughs> there's a bunch of them for cats. So I can just click and add those right in. Uh, now there's another really cool feature here in Tailwind and that's the ability to save hashtag lists. So if you take a look at this caption section below, we have this section that says saved hashtags. If I click on it, you'll notice I was testing this earlier and I do have one list in here. It's called cats and it has three hashtags saved to it. So if I just click on this list, you'll notice that boom, it adds all of those hashtags right in there. Now, how do we add new hashtags to the list? Well, you can just click on this saved hashtags dropdown. You could click on new or we could just click on create from current caption and it will take all of the hashtags that are currently up here. We could just click on new and we could name this list. So we could name this, you know, cats two. And then we could enter all of the hashtags that we wanted to add to this list. And we could just say, you know, we'll just add one for now and we'll hit save hashtag list. And now you'll notice in this dropdown, we have two hashtag lists. So we can just click on 
the particular list and it will add all of those hashtags into our caption. So that is great uh, for being able to just reuse hashtags. Maybe you're posting different types of content. Uh, so, you know, I've got your, you've got your cat photos. So you've got a hashtag list for your cat photos. Maybe then you're also posting dog photos, right? So then you have another list for your dog photos and you can just click and add them all at once. I love that feature. It is really, really helpful. Okay, so now we could just go up and we could finish this off by just entering a normal caption up here at the top. So we can just say Maya and Ziggy hanging out in the dining room. Great. Notice that we could also add multiple images from here as well. If you click on the three little dots, uh, this is where we could delete the post or replace the image if we wanted to. Now down here at the bottom, you'll notice that we have a post method section. And uh, we can't use the auto post option because this isn't an Instagram business account. And if I mouse over this I, uh, I don't know if it tells me that. No, it doesn't tell me that right there. But that is the reason. So I do have to use this notification post. But again, uh, you know, my AnsonAlex.com Instagram account, this one, uh, this one right here is a business account. So we would be able to do auto post for that account. But again, it's just going to notify us when it's time to post. And we just have to hit post. Everything else is going to be set up. Now down at the bottom, we need to choose a scheduled time for this post. Uh, so by default, it's just going to insert it into the next slot, which is fine right now, but I could alternatively click on one of these other slots if I wanted to. And so then once we're all set, we've got everything configured, we can just hit schedule. You'll notice that we now take a look at our grid on the right side of the screen. We can see the posts that we've already published and we could scroll through them and then we can see our scheduled post right up here it tells us that it's scheduled for Friday, January 29th at 10.32 p.m. And you can tell just by the, the color of this symbol here that it's going to be an Instagram post, right? Because those are the Instagram colors right there. So at this point, we could just go ahead and hit upload photo and we could schedule a new post. So you can schedule your post for like a month out if you want. And then, you know, you just have to hit that post button when you get the notification if you're not using an Instagram business account. And I just want to show you real quick too, if for some reason I decided later on that I didn't want this post to be published in this time slot, I can just drag it. I could drag it to another time slot. So uh, that is kind of a cool feature as well that uh, I did want to show you. So let's take a look at a couple of the other features here in Tailwind. So, so far we've been working in this publisher section of Tailwind, but there are a couple other sections as well. We have this insights section and let's go here uh, for a second. And I'll just want to show you that it says that in order to access the advanced insights, we need to switch to the Instagram business account. So let's go and let's switch to my other account. Let's switch to my other Instagram account because that one is a business account. And we're back here in the publisher section. So let's click on insights. And you can see now we have some insights and these are going to be somewhat similar to the insights that you would see if you were actually just in the Instagram app. But if you're using Tailwind to schedule your posts, I think it's really nice to have this information all in one place. Uh, so we can scroll down a little bit here and you'll notice that uh, we have some sample data in here because we do need to uh, use the premium version or the plus version of Tailwind in order to access this information. So you kind of get an idea of what it would look like. But this data down here at the bottom isn't real data. Uh, this data up here at the top is real data. Um, but you'll notice that some of these other sections are, are locked because we would need to upgrade to a plus account. But again, a lot of this information is available in the Instagram app as well. It's just an added bonus that you can access it here in Tailwind if you're using the plus version. Now this last section over here on the left is called the smart bio section. And this is actually, you know, kind of a cool feature that Tailwind offers. It allows you to create what's called a smart.bio. And that is just a landing page. Uh, it's really good for influencers where you can have links to all of your different social profiles. So you could have a link to your Instagram account. You could have a link to your Twitter, your Facebook, all in one spot. And what you can actually do is you'll notice that it creates a smart bio page for you. So it's smart.bio slash ansonalex.com right now for me. So I think this is a cool feature for influencers and people who don't have their own websites. It kind of creates a little website for you where you can direct people elsewhere. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that uh, we can also just add this uh, link to our Instagram posts that are about to be published so that when those posts are published and people go to our smart bio, you'll see the Instagram posts that they've published with that link below. Uh, so, you know, again, this is just kind of a cool additional feature. It isn't, you know, specific to um, scheduling posts on Instagram or Pinterest or any of that sort of thing. It's just a little bit of an added bonus that I think some users will be able to find beneficial. So, so just as an example, uh, to show you how this would kind of work is we could add a new button link and we could call this, say, you know, just website, I guess. 
And then we could enter the URL of our website. And when we click out of that, you'll notice that our Smart Bio page updates and we have this website button. Okay, so what we can do with the Smart Bio in our Instagram posts is we can use our Instagram pictures as the kind of the thumbnail images for links on our Smart Bio. So I showed you how to add just a website button. But let's say, you know, I don't really think this is that engaging. I don't think people are going to click, you know, that much. So let's delete that button. We'll delete that link. And now let's go down here on this page a little bit and find some of our posts. And instead of creating that button link, what I can do is I can give this image a label. So I could just call this, you know, website. And then I could enter my website URL. And then I can click add. You'll notice that on my smart bio, now I have my Instagram photo and it says website beneath it. So when people click on this link, they're brought to my website. So, you know, I could then, you know, say I wanted to link to, you know, my Facebook page or my Etsy page. I could take a picture of if I'm creating crafts with Etsy, I could take a picture of one of my crafts, upload it to Instagram, and then I could add my, you know, Etsy link down here, enter the link add it to my smart bio and this just becomes a really cool landing page that you can post you know right in the main bio of your Instagram account so that people can click on it and then whatever they're interested whether it's your website or your Etsy page or your Facebook page you can have all of those links right here on your smart bio so they can easily access whatever of your social platforms or web platforms you'd like them to access so just another cool little add-on here in Tailwind so that pretty much covers the Tailwind Cloud app. I just do want to quickly jump into the mobile version just so you can see how it looks pretty similar. Okay, so we're back here on my Android device and I'm just going to open up the Tailwind Instagram Planner app that we talked about earlier. So we'll just click open. And you can see here we are now in the Tailwind mobile app. It looks very similar to Tailwind for desktop. So right now we don't have any drafts right here, uh, but you know we could you know hit upload drafts and then we could upload a photo from our phone and we could start creating that. Now one thing is is that right now being able to filter photos and stuff uh, is still a feature that they're finishing developing here in the mobile app so if you're looking to do all your filtering and stuff I do recommend using the desktop version uh, but we could tap over here to take a look at our schedule and you'll notice that we can see all of our previously posted Instagram photos and then you can see we've got that one scheduled that we did on the desktop version. So it's already updated here in our mobile app. So we could edit it here if we wanted to. We could change the caption. We could change the hashtags. Uh, we could change, you know, when it's scheduled for. Um, so it's pretty much all of the same features as you get in the browser-based version. Uh, the only difference is right now uh, you just can't filter as well in the mobile app. Uh, but I definitely recommend uh, that you check that out as well. You can, you know, use both a little bit. Uh, you can get your photos filtered here on the desktop version and then come over here to the mobile app and schedule them if you'd like. Uh, so again, I really think this tool is great for marketers using Pinterest and Instagram because you can schedule these posts. I really love the ability to be able to save hashtags, reuse recently used hashtags, create those hashtag lists. And let's just move real quick back over here uh, to the Tailwind desktop version because I just want to show you that if you're using Tailwind for Pinterest, uh, it looks very similar. Uh, it's just you're dealing with your pins and your boards. So there are a few different things that you should be pretty familiar with if you're, if you're using Pinterest. So you can see here we are. We're now using Tailwind for my Pinterest account. Um, so you can, you know, add pins. I think this will take you to, to Pinterest to add your pins. Uh, but one of the features that Tailwind offers for Pinterest is this Tailwind Create feature. And it will automatically uh, create pins that are personalized for your brand. Uh, so I, I'm not a heavy Pinterest user, uh, but if you are, uh, I think that this is a really great opportunity for you to just kind of increase the engagement and the quality of your pins. So I definitely recommend, you know, using this free trial with Tailwind and uh, trying it out for Pinterest as well. But I'm, I'm a little bit bigger of an Instagram user, so that's where I find it most useful. Go back over here to SoCal Cat Life. Uh, so again, uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.